Jones is sleeping. He's earned it too. I've been drilling him pretty hard the last seven weeks. He's had to march. He's had to run. He's been through the obstacle course several times. He's done a couple of thousand push-ups, sit-ups so and nice. jumping jacks. He's built a whole bunch of potatoes too. No more potatoes. We train our soldiers pretty hard, but at night we let them rest. They usually have no trouble nodding off, as you can see. Look at him, sleeping like a baby. You know what he reminds me of? Heaven. God is preparing a place of rest for all of us in heaven. There will be no sadness, no sickness, and no worries up there. No more running. That's right, Jonesy. No more running. We will be with Jesus and we will live with him forever. All because he loves us. If you're a believer, thank God for his goodness and his love. If you're not, I hope you'll give your heart to Jesus today. He's got a place of rest prepared for you. And trust me, mm. it's way more cosy than these little cots. Mm. You can go there one day. You can live mm. with Jesus forever. Mm. All you have to do is accept the invite. Mm. 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 <laughs>basic number seven God wants to be with you forever men and women who are training to become soldiers sailors airmen marine and guardsmen go through a rigorous training during basic training they are up long before the sun rises and their day is jam-packed with training exercise classroom learning and more until it is time to go to bed there is no free time. There is no downtime, chill time. Even on the days when they aren't going from training field to the classroom, to the obstacle course, they can count on cooking, cleaning up, or doing other chores around the base. There's only one part of the day when these new recruits get any rest. That's when they hit the barracks for lights out. Even the military understands that no one can keep going 24 hours a day, seven days a week. A good night's rest is an essential part of training and every soldier gets the most out of those hours. Rest is something we all need more of and yet can never seem to get enough of. As infants we rested quite a bit so as babies and as preschoolers we still took regular naps but the older you get the harder it is to find time to just sit for a moment much less actually rest. <laughs> Our days are crammed full with school, after school activities, practices and of course the activities and practices our siblings have as well. It's non-stop and it can be exhausting. Over the last several weeks we've talked about the basics of faith. We've learned that our creator God is good and loving and that he sent his son Jesus to die for our sins. We've learned that if we believe in Jesus, God will forgive our sins. But what then? Will we ever see Jesus for ourselves? Will we really meet with him? Jesus himself promises we will. Before he was betrayed and crucified, Jesus told his disciples he is preparing a place for them. We call that place heaven. And from what Jesus says, it sounds like the one place we can find true rest. John chapter 14 verses one to six says, don't let this throw you. You trust God, don't you? Trust me. There is plenty of room for you in my father's home. If that weren't so, would I have told you that I'm on my way to get a room ready for you? And if I'm on my way to get your room ready, I'll come back and get you so you can live where I live. And you already know the road I'm taking. Thomas said, Master, we have no idea where you're going. How do you expect us to know the road? Jesus said, I am the road, also the truth, also the life. No one gets to the Father 
apart from me. The disciples who were in the room with Jesus were very sad. He had led and taught them for three years and they knew he was leaving them. Jesus assured them that one day they would be reunited. He was preparing a place for them in this place called heaven. Jesus also lets the disciples know there's only one way to get there. If we believe in Jesus, we will go to heaven. Simple as that. He is the way and there's no other way around to it. Basic number seven is this. God wants to be with you forever. He is preparing a place for you. Are you ready to accept his invite? Before Jesus left earth, he promised that one day he would return. He would bring an end to the world as we know it now, and a new age would begin. There would be a new heaven and a new earth. There would be no more sin, and we will live forever with Jesus. Many who first heard this promise expected Jesus to return in their lifetime. 2,000 years and we are still waiting. And many may wonder if he's ever coming back. God will send Jesus back in his perfect timing. Meanwhile, we are here to call you week after week to follow Jesus. We do this because we have this promise from the Apostle Peter. So 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9 says, The Lord isn't slow to do what he's promised as some think. Instead, he's patient with you because he doesn't want anyone to be destroyed, but wants all to turn away from their sins. Jesus hasn't returned because he's still waiting. He's given everyone... He's giving everyone he can a chance to receive Jesus. He wants everyone everyone to know Jesus and he will prepare places for everyone who gives their heart to Jesus. You may have noticed that we offer the call to receive Jesus as your saviour many times over the course of the year. In fact we come here every weekend hoping that someone will come forward and make that confession of faith. We believe that God wants to save all of us so that we can live with him forever. We aren't promised tomorrow and we pray each week that those who have not accepted Jesus will make that decision. If this is your week, if this is the day God is calling you to receive Jesus, then let us know. Come forward, speak to us, so that we can pray with you and welcome you into the family of God. God loves you. He wants to forgive your sins. He wants to live with you in heaven forever. Are you ready to accept his invitation? Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the promise of heaven. In Jesus' name, amen.